Hi and welcome back to my channel Digital Toolcase. I'm Chris uh, and this is a new video about uh, closest copy because uh, today a new update came out and I want to show you uh, how it works and how this uh, really makes uh, uh, closest copy more powerful, more easy to use, especially for uh, newbies, uh, new users uh, that uh, maybe <laughs> found uh, some difficulties in uh, using closest copy. But first I want to remember you that if you want you can subscribe to my channel uh, and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications about new videos you can find my affiliate link here below the video in the description and hurry up because i just saw that on uh, march 4th the price will go up you still have the option for having the lifetime plan but as you can see price is going up it's uh, already higher than my last video as i said you uh, you need to take the chance where these prices uh, are uh, are available because they follow going up and up and right now the unlimited lifetime plan it's 387 dollars one time fee uh, without limits so uh, you will pay only once as you can see but starting from march 4 uh, the price will go up uh, it will become uh, 397 so uh, please if you want to use uh, closest copy <laughs> please hurry up now let's go inside this document i want to let you see what's uh, the, the the new uh, options you have in closest copy and they're so uh, good uh, let's uh, go in long form um, as you can see it's uh, slightly different if you already know how uh, closest copy works it's uh, slightly different from uh, the last version this is a beta version of long form, so obviously maybe uh, there's still some bugs, but they will will become better and better. Here you have the right section. It's the same you had before. Uh, here we have transitions. Uh, there a new interface for transitions, but they're the same uh, you found in the in the previous version. And this is the new tools. As you can see, you have a, a, a brief, uh, a, a field where you can write a brief, and you have uh, some options that let you uh, write an article really, really fast. Let's do an example. I go to Lofruits. This is a tool I use to find long tail keywords, easy to rank. I made a video so you can go and check it out. Uh, there's also some new options here, but I will do uh, a special video for <laughs> Low Fruits. Let's take our keyword how to travel within Italy. I copy this and I place it here. Uh, I place it here. Okay. Uh, let's say we want to create a brief for this article, but maybe uh, we don't have uh, any idea on what kind of brief we want to create. So uh, you can simply uh, select this text and click on brief. Uh, wait uh, some seconds and closest copy will automatically uh, create a brief uh, or some brief. Uh, uh, and you can choose the one you uh, prefer. Here are our output puts let's see okay in this post we discuss some of the most popular methods of traveling within italy we will also show you how to make sure that you can use the best transportation option and make sure that your trip is as pleasant as possible this is uh, quite good so i will uh, uh, copy this and place it here now i copy it uh, and place it here and this will be our uh, brief article brief as you can see very fast uh, we have a start for our article now i can do the same thing for a headline let's say this is my keyword but i want to create uh, some uh, headline headline ideas so i select uh, with the mouse this uh, uh, keyword and i click on headline 
And here it is, I have some headline ideas, how to travel in Italy without breaking the bank, discover how to travel to Italy from anywhere in the world for less than $50 per day, is an affordable way to travel within Italy, how to travel within Italy like a local, uh, the complete guide to traveling the world in style. Not bad, I will choose, for example, uh, this... Okay, so this can be our headline. I make it H1 and this uh, it's a post headline. Let's say it's our little uh, introduction there. I leave it the brief here. Maybe it uh, can be useful later. Now uh, let's go on and let's say I need uh, an outline for this article. So I will uh, uh, select this with the mouse and Click on Outline. Okay, this is our output. Let's see train trips, the best way to see Italy, the best way to see Italy. This is uh, really repetitive. So let's see if something better is uh, here. The best way to travel with Italy, tips for traveling, what of, uh, to pack for trip. This is uh, quite good. So let's say we choose this outline. Uh, now I will make it a little better this is our h2s i added some of these okay let's go on now we have uh, some other tool here really interesting uh, now we need uh, for sure an introduction for our article so again i will select uh, my um, h1 and click on introduction after some seconds, I have my outputs. Let's read some of this. Okay, let's say that uh, this is our introduction. Okay, now I have an introduction. I can do uh, the same thing and using the same tool introduction even for uh, these H2s. Um, for example, the, west, the best way to travel within Italy, I can select this and click again on introduction and let's wait some seconds to have our output. Okay, here are our outputs. The following post will help you to plan uh, next trip to Italy. You will learn to choose a destination. Okay, I think this is a good start for this paragraph. Uh, we can even uh, follow up on this paragraph by selecting it and by uh, choosing this. As you can see, when you select something with your mouse, um, some of these uh, options become available with the blue color, uh, the corner color. Um, and uh, if you uh, choose, for example, an entire uh, paragraph, only paragraph can be used. You can't use uh, one, one of the other ones. So I click on paragraph and let's wait. Okay, here it is, our output. Let's say we like this one. Now I go really fast, but uh, as you can see, this is a paragraph expander. Uh, you have also other interesting tool and I will leave uh, one of the uh, most interesting news uh, for the latter. But um, you can, for example, uh, uh, use uh, a FAQ. Um, let's say um, you have some uh, FAQ, you want, you want to write some FAQs on how to travel within Italy like a local. So you can select uh, uh, the H1 and click on FAQ. Okay, Closest Copy here gave me a, a really high quantity of, uh, of uh, questions. For example, what's the best way to get around Italy? With an answer. Uh, how, how much does it cost to travel around Italy? With an answer. Uh, obviously, you need to fact check, uh, but as you can see, you can have a list of FAQs in a matter of seconds with this new option. Here it is. 
OK, let's try something else. You can have benefits, for example, drawbacks. If you want to make a pros and cons kind of paragraph, you can have bullet points, uh, a listicle, a tutorial. Tutorial, I think, uh, uh, when you write on how to uh, kind of article, this can be very useful. We can try it with this uh, uh, H2, for example. I don't know if uh, it's a good example let's say what comes out but uh, i want to remember you that with unlimited uh, closest copy you can uh, uh, regenerate your text uh, a hundred a million of times if you want okay uh, as you can see how to eat well in italy and closest copy gave us uh, a, a step one step two step three because i choose a tutorial but uh, maybe they are not uh, the best because i noticed that when you use uh, this uh, kind of tools tutorial bullets uh, listicle um, it gave uh, uh, it, it reads also this brief uh, so this is a brief that that talks about uh, uh, traveling within italy uh, this talks about eat well in italy so if i take this and place it here now i have a, a context uh, that talks about eat in italy eat well in italy i select it again and click on uh, tutorial Okay, as you can see now, we have a better output because step one, eat breakfast. It's talking about eating. Step two, drink water. Step three, eat fruit and vegetables. <laughs> as you can see, by changing this context, you can have a more focused, a more specific output about the H2. You can even use explain. Explain gives you a very short explanation of something. Uh, for example, let's try it really, really fast. Uh, what uh, is uh, a uh, train? I <laughs> just to make a quick example, I choose this with my mouse. Explain. Uh, it says me I need to select between 5 to 30 words and here I have only um, uh, 4 words. So what is uh, a uh, train station? Okay, just to show you uh, a very short answer, a train station is where you get on a train, a train station is where you go to catch a train, uh, so this is uh, uh, what, it, uh, what it does explain. And now, here an interesting one, because uh, if you can see, here you have command. Command, uh, it's a command, a command. If you already know uh, Jasper, you know they have boss mode and you can use commands. And now with this new option, you can use uh, some kind of command even with uh, closest copy. It doesn't work really the same, but it's working quite, quite good. Let's make an example. I uh, go here with my cursor and I mm, write something like this write a compelling outline about traveling about travel let's say about travel within italy okay so uh, i'm giving it a command write a compelling outline about travel within italy and i click on command and I'll wait some seconds. Okay, it's not uh, so fast as uh, Jasper is, but we have uh, some outputs. Uh, the first, it's uh, not really uh, good, but as you can see, uh, the second, it's, uh, it's an outline. The third, it's an outline. So he, he, uh, it uh, understood our command. Uh, but you can even uh, write something different. For example, write a, a list, uh, let's say write a list of uh, uh, flowers. <laughs> let's do something different from our topic to just to, to test it. It's uh, the first time I'm uh, testing uh, this, uh, this way of using closest copy. So let's try command. 
And here we go, we have our list of flowers. This is a really generic command, but you can, uh, you can use what you want. As you can see, it's uh, some kind of uh, a boss mode, uh, a little different because uh, uh, in, in Jasper you can do it uh, here di directly, here you have a, a button, but the concept uh, is uh, quite the same. And this is it for the new, uh, the new long form uh, uh, editor here in Closescopy. Really, really interesting. Uh, I will do some other videos, but it's not the only one uh, new thing you can find in this uh, uh, Closescopy update uh, because I think even the uh, insights uh, uh, future is updated now. So I click here on the menu on insights and let's try to check insights for this article as you can see i have some information um hemingway like information if you know that kind of software uh, i have a grade of readability i have some suggestion in order to make my text better adverbs uh, meeting the goal of uh, 11 or fewer and so on uh, i have some suggestions uh, to uh, edit my article this is uh, really interesting i have uh, reading time speaking time letters characters words sentences paragraphs i also have emotions and let's try to check emotions Okay, it says me it's ex excitement for 90% of my text. Let's see densities. Let's check also this. Okay, I have the occurrences of words inside my text. Really interesting. Even this, I have some kind of check spam score, I think. Uh, okay, no spam detected, fantastic, and I have also NLP, let's check even NLP, uh, I didn't find any uh, NLP, I don't really know how to use it, if this is uh, beta, I, yes, it's beta, so maybe it's not uh, finished, but it's uh, really interesting, even this new update future inside, closest copy. So don't wait because uh, lifetime plan uh, will go up in price on March 4th. It uh, will become, uh, let's see it again. Uh, it will become 397 for the unlimited lifetime plan. It will become 267 for uh, the professional, but here you have some words uh, limits. Again, you can find my affiliate link here in the description. I appreciate if you will use it because you will help me to grow my channel. Thank you very much and see you soon in another video.